I said, man, you better tell me who you spent our last five hours on, you know. You wouldn't tell me nothing. He just kept flashing the thing. And then he finally took it out of the bag. And, um... He still wouldn't let me read it, but he took it out of the bag and was reading some of the things that said off it to me up in the air like this, and I didn't recognize anything he said anyway, so I went off and pretended I didn't give a shit. I went off to the bedroom or something, and he finally came in and told me it was Bob Dylan, you know. I said, Bob who? Bob Dylan. You never heard of Bob Dylan? I said, no, I never heard of Bob Dylan, you know. And I said, what's with this weird cat, you know, because... Like, I mean, you know, Bob Dylan was really a genius and was all right, but I just couldn't get ready for it. And I figured Jimmy was so heavy into what I was into, he would never like anything like that, you know. But he just loved it to death. I wanted to get up and go to the bathroom. He, he would grab me by my arm, and, you know, to, you know, like, I'm going to miss this part, you know. <laughs> you know, and I was, you know, okay, you know, like, he, I couldn't miss it, you know. You, you could hear it to 42nd Street probably, you know. We almost got put out of the building behind Bob Dylan. The little stories and things he used to tell me, I started going for him, you know, really digging him and liking, you know, him more than I was liking the fact that he was a cutie pie with the guitar, you know, the end thing at that time. They were just, you know, getting to be the thing, like with the processes falling in your face when you play, you know. But he wasn't the average process. Where so we got our own little crib, you know, and it was sightings and crackers on and off, you know, and our moms were throwing, a, I mean, well, my mom was throwing a good meal here and there, you know. She um she couldn't stand him actually because she thought he was a bum, you know. She said, "You ain't gonna have that long hair nigga in here," you know, and then she get in front of his face and she says, "Well, Jimmy, you just don't understand, uh, you know, like." Faye's just going through a thing, you know, it's just going to be a minute, you know, you shouldn't get yourself all involved because he talked to her about little things, you know. Man, we used to go to Palms Cafe and uh, places like Smalls, the Spotlight, places around 125th Street, then the Harlem scene, you know, and uh, he told him he wanted to sit in, right, and these old fuddy daddy rough dried ain't never bands you know they ain't gonna give him a break so like they just um act like they don't even know that he's there and um you know he'd sit there with this kind of look on his face for a few minutes you know and he says i'm gonna speak to him again you know and i said hey don't say nothing to those cats you know because it's obvious they don't want you you know to play finally they would let him come in you know, and play. And then they get up and really just mess up so bad behind him, it was incredible, you know. And he'd be looking all disgusted on the stage and he keep looking back at him and then the, the other guys come and tell him he's got to turn it down, you know, and take him through all kinds of changes. He would sign a contract with anybody that came along that had a dollar, you know, and a pencil. You know, he signed with them, which got him into a lot of trouble that he got into later, you know, with the companies and stuff. We get our door plugged to the hotel, we get thrown out, we pawn the guitar, we come back, we borrow guitars from people to, you know, play, do a gig, we eat good for a minute. You know, it was just that, you know, on and off all the time. But uh, the twins by now on, on the set, I don't know if the twins, you know, mention anything about, um, you know, when Jimmy and them first met but uh we were all living together this guy did nothing that great you know what i mean he said oh they really do dig me over there you know and he says and um i got this really nice album i got two cats to play with me and everything and um he said and i brought you something too i said yeah well you bring it when you bring the album i'm thinking he's brought me some fabulous present back from london jim please tell me what it is you know and um he said acid some acid you know and I said acid. You know, I had no idea what he was talking about. I thought they had a, had a cauldron of acid or something. He was going to drop me in. And, I, and he looked over to Arthur. You know, and Arthur said, LSD, you know. And I said, oh, LSD, you know. I was trying to, I was trying to sound too disappointed, you know. I knew Jimmy could take more of anything than we could, you know what I mean? Because he was already abnormal. So whatever he took just brought him back around to normal. Then he got to start from there, you know? understand so like we we knew if he could take you know a gallon we better take a pint right